kids to the Lab Online Preschool Experience. My name is Danae and I am so excited that you're here today. We have some new things that I want to tell you all about and I am really excited about it. First, we have a brand new memory verse for this month. Let's go learn it all together. Hey boys and girls, let's say our memory verse together. God made heaven and earth. He keeps every promise. Psalm 146, 6. Let's say it one more time. God made heaven and earth. He keeps every promise. Psalm 146, 6. Great job! Wow, that was so cool. And today, we are going to be talking about the first part of that memory verse. Our Bible story is all about how God made the heavens and the earth. And we have some new friends that I want to introduce you to who are going to help us learn more about it. Megan and Jesse are coming up right now with more about this important Bible story. Hello friends, my name is Megan and this is my friend Jesse. Hi! Megan, look at this plant I made. Wow, that's a beautiful plant, Jesse. Thank you. But why did you say that you made the plant? Well, I planted the seed and I watered it and I put it in the window to get lots of sun and then this plant came up. So I must have made it. <laughs> you did take great care of your seed and it grew, but God is the one who made your plant. He did? Yes, the Bible tells us that God made all kinds of plants. He made every plant to have seed to grow more of the same kind of plant. Wow! Yeah, let me tell you the story from the Bible about how God created everything. In the beginning, there was nothing but God. There was no sun, no dirt, no creeks, no animals, and no people. God began to do something that no one else could ever do. God began to make the world out of nothing. First, God made the heavens and the earth. The earth was covered with water and it was dark. God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw that the light was good. Everything God makes is good. God called the light day, and he called the darkness night. This was day one. On day two, God made a space over the earth that he called the sky. On day three, God gathered the water on earth into oceans. Now there was dry land. God saw that it was good. He made all kinds of plants and trees. Every plant and tree had seed to grow more of the same kind of plant or tree. And God saw that it was good. On day four, God made lights in the sky for day and night. He made the sun for daytime and the moon and stars for night. God looked at what he had made and God saw that it was good. On day five, God made animals that live in the water and animals that fly in the sky. He made fish and whales and seahorses and eels that move in the water. He made birds that fly in the sky. He made each kind of animal different and God saw that it was good. So God blessed the animals and told them to have baby fish and baby birds so there would be more of them on earth. On day six, God made animals that live on earth, all different kinds. He made wild animals like lions and giraffes and foxes. He made animals that crawl on the ground like alligators and caterpillars. He made animals that help people like cows and camels and sheep. And God saw that all of it was good. Jesus is Lord over everything. The Bible says everything was created by him and for him. Jesus holds everything together 
and everything brings God glory. Wow, that was a cool story. Our God made the heavens and the earth. He is so amazing. I want to show you something that I think is pretty cool that I made. Have you ever played with these magnetic tiles before? They kind of snap together. I made this cool cube. I made something else. Are you ready to see? I made a rocket ship. How cool is this? But boys and girls, the way that I made this rocket ship is very different from how God made the heavens and the earth. I really just put this together with things that I already had, but God made the heavens and the earth from nothing. He took absolutely nothing and just spoke and all the things in all of the world were made. How cool is that? Our God is awesome. This week, boys and girls, when you're out and about and you see a bird flying by or you see some flowers growing up from the ground, I want you to take a minute and thank God for all the amazing things that he has created. Let's pray together and talk to God right now. Hands together, close our eyes. God, we thank you so much for everything that you have made. You are such an amazing, awesome God, and we love you so much. This week, help us to thank you for all the amazing things that we see around us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for tuning in this week, boys and girls. I hope you have an awesome week, and we see you again next time. Bye. It's a beautiful day. I want to celebrate, I want to tell everyone, I just can't wait, he is my friend, he is so great, he can do any, anything, I just can't wait, so I'm gonna tell everyone Can't wait.